How are you guys doing? Chris Ignato here. Thanks for stopping by. So this video is about reishi mushrooms of the Ganoderma genus. Ganoderma is actually a pretty neat word. Uh, it comes from the Greek word ganos, which means brightness or sheen and derma, of course, skin. So, shiny skin kind of makes sense because these fungi are very shiny skinned. Check it out. Whenever I venture out and explore the northern woodlands, I cannot help to notice and admire the wonderful variety of mushrooms and fungi. Now, one of my favorite representatives of the world of mycology is none other than the reishi mushrooms of the Ganoderma genus. These beautiful and often large bracket fungus are usually found in hemlock and maple forests. The kidney-shaped fungi have the appearance of wood or cork that has been varnished or covered in lacquer. Much of the time, this gives their red and yellow caps a glossy sheen. Caps that are offset from the stem can take on interesting shapes and forms. It's fun to spot the familiarities in these shapes. This one surely looks like the head and neck of a goose or duck. Okay, now there are generally two species of reishi mushrooms that you can find in Pennsylvania. There are some others, but the most common ones are the Ganoderma suge, like the hemlock variety. Suge is hemlock, like suge canadensis. And then you have the Ganoderma courtesy, which are the kind that you find on maple trees, usually on the trunks or close to the ground. It's also known as the mushroom of immortality, or chingli mushrooms. Look into that. Reishi mushrooms lack gills on their underside. Instead, they release their spores through fine pores. The underside is often tan to brownish. These fungi are amazing for immune system support and regulation. They're also good for helping various forms of cancer such as neuroblastoma, liver, breast, and even colon cancers. The triterpenoids can be extracted via alcohol and are great for treating histamine and inflammation issues. Reishi also help with problems with high cholesterol, liver detox, and that's not all. There are a multitude of other health benefits from the Ganoderma genus. Now, as I always stress, when dealing with edible plants and mushrooms or the medicinal ones, you have to do lots of cross-referencing and a lot of homework. Maybe if you're purchasing the stuff, also research that and choose from a reputable dealer. It's also good to find an experienced nature guide that can take you on a walk and teach you about these plants and fungi. Now one of the best ways to store the medicinal uses of the Ganoderma species is through tinctures. Usually the compounds you're looking for are extracted through alcohol, but some of them will be extracted through hot water and alcohol combined. Again, do your research. There are utilitarian uses also. Some can be used as a nice, rich colored dye for wood, often on the reddish to rusty side of the spectrum. Not to mention the sheer beauty of the mushroom bodies themselves. Now the best time to see reishi mushrooms is usually June and again in the fall. June, of course, is their favorite time of the year, but being wild, they could be rather unpredictable, sometimes showing up at unexpected times and even in the winter. So maybe next time you find yourself wandering a hemlock forest, perhaps you want to keep your eyes peeled for the beautiful reishi mushrooms. Truly a work of art, and they're really a sight to behold. Please keep in mind though, they're not very common, so maybe look, but don't harm them. We need all the reishi we can get, right? Thanks a lot for watching. Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, signing out. Thanks a lot for watching, and remember, if you like this video, be sure to check out this video over here that YouTube has selected specifically for you based on your watch time. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, but you gotta click the bell icon because if you don't, YouTube will never let you know when a new video of mine comes out. And remember, passion inspires spirit.